guys, this is a how I time manage vlog. So let's just get straight to it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I just finished making my breakfast. Um, I don't think I showed you guys what I made, but my favorite oatmeal with cinnamon and banana. I just like mushed some banana in there. It tastes so good. And then I topped it off with some blueberries. I wanted to have kind of a light breakfast because I have a Pilates class at 9 a.m. today. And it's currently 8.20, so I'm going to leave in like 10 minutes, but I wanted to eat breakfast really quickly so that I have time to change and head over to my class. Today I'm going to show you guys kind of how I plan out my days to make sure I am as productive as I can be. First thing I always do, um, I usually plan my calendar at least a week in advance. I have my calendar right here. I bought this from Target, and I have some stuff right here on this side, and like... You can tell last week it's completely full because I time everything I want to do during the day like by the hour and it just really keeps me really busy during the week but then on the weekends I finally have like a few days to like breathe and it's just like either like a review day or whatever or even a day to just not really focus on school at all. And for today let me break it down to you guys because it is a lot of stuff I have to do. This morning, I actually woke up at around 7 a.m. and I was doing my study guide for one of my classes. And then I have um, make my breakfast, start shooting my vlog, which I am doing right now. I'm supposed to leave my house at 8.30, which is still the plan. And then I have my hot Pilates class at 9 a.m. It's approximately one hour long. So I'm thinking like at 10, I'm going to be leaving the studio and then heading back home. I have to shower, eat my second breakfast, something with protein. I'm thinking avocado toast with egg maybe. Change into some comfy clothes because I'm actually going to meet up with my friends at around 11 a.m. 11 a.m. I told them I was going to meet up with them because we're going to go over our class, the study guide I've been working on. We're going to go over that class this is my perinatal class because we do have midterms coming up so I have to study a lot I'm gonna be studying from like 11 a.m. until approximately 2 20 which then I will be coming home and then reviewing a little bit on my own and then at around 4 p.m. I will be doing my hair and makeup because I have a really exciting brand collab that I will be doing on my Instagram. So if you guys do not already follow me on Instagram, it's going to be right here, Jessica2 underscores of Esqua. So I'm going to be shooting a few pictures. They sent me the cutest like spring looks ever, so I cannot wait to style them up today with my hair and makeup done. Not like this. And then lastly, I am going to just touch over and review my class again, make sure I understand it, and send a lot of emails to companies in order to reach out to them and hopefully have more collabs in the future. I have to swallow this oatmeal super quickly. I will see you guys in a little bit. This is my outfit. I am wearing some biker shorts from Old Navy and then this graphic tee, I believe it's from Cotton On. I just know I'm gonna be sweating so much when I get there, so I wanted to make sure I wore my biker shorts. These are really comfy. And then obviously it's super, super cold outside, so I'm gonna be bringing a sweater. I just need to brush my teeth, put on deodorant, and then head out. <laughs> This is post my Pilates class and um, I ended up taking this shirt off. I ended up working out in my undershirt that I have on. I was dripping sweat so much. I went through an entire water bottle and just chugged another one right now right after class. It was really nice though. Like I feel like I got a really good workout in. The biggest tip I can give you guys for being really time efficient would be just to plan your day out ahead of time like the day before or even plan your week out ahead of time and what works for me is I plan out like hour by hour and I feel like that when I do that I'm most productive than just saying like oh I have this to do and I'll just do it whenever 
So yeah, planning everything hour by hour is when I'm most productive. Also, I kind of be realistic with whatever you have to do in the day. Like don't say you're gonna finish, finish reading 500 pages, plus you're gonna do homework assignments, plus you're gonna go work out. Like be really realistic because you do not want to get in the habit of making like to-do lists for the days or plan out your whole week and just never accomplish what you plan out. But also with that being said, if like for example me i'm a nursing student but i'm also attempting to grow like my instagram and trying to collaborate with companies so because i have two goals that i want to do with my life i a lot of times will wake up super early to make sure i do my homework stuff and then stay up really late to send companies emails or stay up really late to reply to people's comments on my tiktok or on my instagram sometimes when you don't feel motivated to do stuff you have to be very disciplined be realistic with what you can do in the day but also disciplined enough that if you know you're gonna have to stay up a little bit later that night and maybe not get your eight hours of sleep you have to be fine with it as long as it's something that you you want to do for you and for like your dream life you know but anyways guys my face i feel like it looks really red i'm so hungry the girls that were um in the hot pilates class with me they were saying how they were gonna go downtown and grab like an acai bowl and a smoothie but i don't have time for that i have to go home and shower and study so don't know what i was thinking let it be more than drinking and going back to your place never to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed i just finished studying with my friends like i told you guys i was trying to leave closer to two because i want to kind of review everything on my own as well and like make sure i go like a little bit slower pace to make sure i'm understanding like each little concept so i left and i'm also about to have lunch because i am hungry we had leftover pasta from yesterday and for some reason i just really love pasta once it's like recooked the next day like it tastes so good since i'm home and i'm taking like a little break to eat my lunch i'm also gonna be replying to my comments on instagram and maybe just like watch a youtube video back from walking my dog it was giving me a lot of anxiety just thinking of everything i have to do today but instead of letting my anxiety take over i went on that walk which i am so grateful for <laughs> on right now i just got done with the shower since i got done with the shower i figured i would show you guys my post shower routine first i always go in with some type of hair leave-in conditioner usually i use like it's a 10 hair conditioner and today i'm using the Fanola nourishing 10 it's like number 10 leave-in conditioner this stuff smells amazing and i just put a few pumps in there and apply it to the tips of my hair Ugh, i don't know my skincare routine after my shower it's just so relaxing and I love doing like showers in the afternoon rather than like mornings. I'm not really a morning shower type of person because it just makes me feel so relaxing and I know I'm going to fall asleep in a few hours. So it's like unwinding. Okay, after hair care, I love, 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 love to use eye cream. I use the Cosrx, Cosrx Snail Peptide Eye Cream. I just do like one. Oh God, that's a lot. <laughs> I do less than this typically and I just apply it to my eyes. I was going to do like a face mask and stuff tonight but I remember that tomorrow I actually booked two like hot Pilates class back to back so I have one at 11 to 12 and then I have another one at 12.30 to 1.30 so I'm going to be exhausted but I also figured since I was going to be in the heat for those two hours my pores were going to be like open and i can just do like a face mask afterwards and then since my pores are already going to be open it might like work even better so i just i'm gonna leave that for tomorrow but since i put so much eye cream i'm just gonna kind of just rub the rest of the eye cream that was on my hand off at night i also use this aha bha clarifying treatment toner i use it in my chest area and on my face some nights but because i used this last night I will be skipping this today because I use it like every other night or every two nights. I love using Vaseline on my lips for nighttime. And then um, 
something I also do like if I feel like my skin is needing like the extra hydration after I put on my essence which I'm about to do right now my snail mu mucus power essence which I love this stuff so much I do two pumps and if I feel like my skin needs the extra hydration what I will do is I will put this on let it get soaked in by my skin and then in about like 20 to 30 minutes I go in with a bit a little bit of Vaseline not too much and just like tap it into my skin over the essence and then I just like let my skin absorb all the moisture all night long and I look like a glazed donut at night but the next morning my skin looks great so that is my nighttime skin routine if you guys are college students how has your semester or quarter been treating you? Also, if you aren't a college student, then how has your week been? I know my week's been like kind of crazy and busy. Also, at this moment, I'm going to leave the emoji of the week right here. Make sure to leave that also down in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much. As of today, I am 18 subscribers away from 700, guys. I know we can reach 700 subscribers by the end of February. I know my goal was 750. But even reaching 700 would be such a great accomplishment. Honestly, reaching any amount of subscribers is already a huge accomplishment. But I'm really hoping we can reach that 700. So please let one other person know and hopefully they subscribe to my channel so that we reach our 700 goal. If we reach 700 subscribers by February 28th at 11.59 p.m., I will be doing a mini like Starbucks gift card giveaway and with the next vlog. So I really, really hope we reach our 700 subscribers, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Hard body, they fold up. Shawty say I done glowed up. Double text on my phone up. Fuck with your boy, I'm the man of the year. I'm not a fan of your peers. Serve him with fate on my hands.